Hello, World Tank Blitzers. It's Littlefinger. Happy Friday, May 24th. It is time for another store review. Update 10.0 came out this week, so a little bit more normal to talk about. Should be a fun summer with a lot of events celebrating Blitz's 10 year anniversary. Uh, new heavy line out. Just a word of warning, uh, when this update came out, it changed my replay save settings. So unfortunately, got an ace mastery in this, but uh, it was not saved. So I cannot show you that battle. So if you're new to the channel, please hit that subscribe button. And for those of you that have been around for a while, I really do appreciate you. Let's just jump right in. So we've got the mighty partners here. $36, or you can get basically the same thing here for $17,500. I'm here to tell you that using a 600 gold per dollar, this works out to be 21.6. So the, the best option on this deal is the 17.5. However, you've got two tanks um, that quite honestly, I am not a huge fan of really either of them. Um, and I'll tell you why. So the WZ114 here, tier nine Chinese heavy tank, uh, aim time 3.9, nine degrees of gun depression. Um, what I find is this tank really does troll you with the accuracy, uh, dispersion 0.326, um, <clears throat> you know, so it, off the bat, a uh, heavy play style is not my favorite. Um, and then when you throw in a gun with a long reload, 15 seconds almost, um, and then a gun that's gonna troll you and, and miss shots from time to time, um, it's, it's a difficult one to play really, really well. Um, the WZ-112TM here is a medium tank and you're thinking, okay, great, we got a medium tank. This thing is probably the slowest tier eight medium tank out there. I'm assuming it must be heavily armored, but you can't really tell that so much in game. It does hit pretty hard with an average damage of 400, but if you look at this damage per minute of only 1900, seven degrees of gun depression down. 45 is the claimed top speed, but I think probably in the power to weight ratio, it doesn't do so well. It just does not feel like a good medium. Um, so I would avoid this uh, bundle altogether just because they are not tanks that I feel like are, are must own tanks. Moving on, we've got the Predator and the Vindicator. As you can see, buying them individually is going to be more expensive than buying them together. So I'll look at this bundle here. This is going to get you 30 days of premium time. You're going to get two camos for each tank. Um, and as far as the tanks go, you can see how big this Vindicator is. Tier 7 tank destroyer with a big derp gun. Uh, what you're going to find very, very quickly is two degrees of gun depression. Um, makes this a little bit of a challenge, but you've got this 640 damage, 900, and you can get an HE shot to fully pen. Uh, the tank is a little bit slow and cumbersome. I think they have probably uh, buffed it a little bit in that regard over the years. But, uh, you know, it's very unique. Um, and it does kind of have that meme play style to it. Again, I'm not sure if it's worth $24 for both of these tanks, so just keep that in mind. And then you've got the, the Ultramarines here. Uh, again, another very tall tank, and I know they, they did increase the gun depression on this um, to a whopping six degrees. This was one of those tanks, I think it might have been five or four to begin with. Uh, it made it very, very difficult. It is an auto loader. <clears throat> Three shells in the magazine, 1.5 seconds between shots, you know, typical 180 average damage. Um, it does tend to bounce a little bit more shots than you may expect. Um, but again, <clears throat> two big tanks on the more difficult side to play, and I'd probably stay away from them. Um, I'm going to talk about the T95 E6 draw. I typically don't get into talking about these draws. Um, when all is said and done, you're probably going to be, I don't, I don't know for a tier 10, but 
Uh, for the tier eights, you're typically looking at about 18,000 plus gold, which is obviously a very high amount. But just keep in mind here, guys, that the drop chance on this tank initially is 0.008%. Um, if anyone gets this on the first draw, I've got to see a video of it um, because it's pretty unbelievable. And then if you look at items where you're more likely to get the credits here at 100,000, you got a 49% chance of getting that on the first draw. There's three of these. So um, that percentage is gonna stay very high. And obviously as you knock some of these off the draw, the, the drop chance does increase, but very, very slowly. So more times than not, you're gonna get down to this and it's gonna be the last or the next to last and the gold incre increases significantly as you go along. So just be aware, I mean, the T95 E6 is a great tank. Probably put it close to a must own tank at tier 10. Um, but the draw is not the way to get it. All right, so Rampant Raiders here, 8,500. I believe these are for sale individually below uh, for 5,000 gold each. The, probably the most attractive tank in this bundle is the AMX 1357. The reason why it is is because you've got six shells in the magazine and a fairly fast one second between each of those shells. You are only doing 90 damage, uh, but that puts you at a damage per minute of 2300. Caveat there, uh, pen on this is not great. Um, you really have to use your mobility, concealment, and uh, get to positions you know where you're on the side. I've watched a couple battles lately of a guy, you know, just trying to face um, <clears throat> a tier eight heavy tank and, and just shooting six shots and not penning a single one. Um, so just be wary of that. T4485 is your standard medium tank. Um, brings back great memories for me of playing this game in the very early stages. Uh, November, I will be have played this game for 10 years, believe it or not. Um, but uh, I, I really enjoy this play style, uh, the T44, T4485, T54, those, those type of tanks. You can start to learn to angle this and get some ricochets off of uh, the hull. Um, so it's a brawling medium um, and in kind of one of my more preferred play styles, so to speak. Um, but again, 8500, two tier sevens. To me, this really depends on whether or not you you, you drop down to tier seven and play that um, that tier frequently. Uh, Thunderbolts. I'm not quite sure if this is for sale below as gold, but at twenty four dollars, uh, that's fourteen thousand four hundred. So, to me, this is right on that average price for a tier eight, I mean, 1500 would be what I would expect. So you are gonna get the 30 gold um, boosters out of it. What you make from there is up to you and, and what tier you play. Um, the VK-168, um, obviously this is a huge heavy tank and the biggest weakness is sitting right on top of the tank and you can't hide it. Um, so this is again one of those heavy tanks that is is difficult to play really really well. Um, you know you've almost got to be face hugging somebody, and so you know they're they're seeing you from this vantage point and they can't see that. Um, but if they back up faster than you, they can hit this lower plate. So, uh, so some weaknesses on this tank indeed: big, slow. Uh, let's just take a look: 460 average damage with eight degrees of gun depression and a massive top speed of 20 kilometers per hour. So this is not my play style. I do not like these slow, heavy tanks. The E75 is a little bit of a stronger tank in my opinion, because it gives you a little bit more mobility. Um, 22 damage per minute. You've got 310 average damage, 10 degrees of gun depression. So right off the bat here, 38 kilometers per hour top speed, you can see how much more flexibility you have with this tank. Um, Primary weak spot is you're gonna be your, your flat spots here on the turret. 
Um, so you want to make sure you, you know, if you know someone's aiming at you, you can't get away from them. You kind of wiggle this side to side to minimize the chance of them hitting that. And obviously that lower plate is also a big weakness. Um, but again, on the fence about this one, the price is, is, is just average. All right, containers I'm gonna skip over. The Object 268 I did speak well, about at length uh, last week. Again, 22.5 is, is still pretty expensive for a, a tier 10. Would love to see this at or below 20,000, but you are getting 30 days of premium. And the two, 10 mystery containers there. Just a, a word of warning real quick about this tank. Uh, it has a lot of frontal armor. This lower plate is actually really strong. Um, people are going to struggle to pen that area. Uh, the, the biggest weakness is the side cheek here, um, and especially if you start getting over rotated when facing other people or they get onto your sides, you know, then you start getting into those those weaknesses. Movements pretty good. Uh, the difficulty with the tank is its lack of gun depression and the turret being you know towards the back. <clears throat> so 27, almost 2,800 damage per minute is quite a nice number. 650 on your damage. Um, aim time 4.8 is a little high. 3.46 dispersion. Here's your 5 degrees of gun depression with a 40 kilometer per hour top speed. So just keep those in mind. If you uh, enjoy playing TDs, um, it's, it's, I think you'll enjoy that tank. Um, I can now speak to the Object 590. Um, after my review last week, I did drop 15,000 gold on 10 containers. I know I tell you guys not to do the containers. <clears throat> and maybe I shouldn't tell you because maybe you think, oh, I can be as lucky as, as Littlefinger was. Um, so if we look at drop chances here, 5% for the tank. So it dropped for me on the second container. So I had eight more containers to go. I've got two that dropped 750 gold, 3.8%. Then I had a container drop, the massive container, which is a 1% drop. And then I had a container drop the 10K. Um, the massive container dropped the, the Austin Rex, which turned out to be another 3,750. And then with the contain the, the black boxes that I got, I passed over the, the charm amount and got another thousand gold. So I ended up getting 16,000 gold back plus the tank. About the tank here, um, I'm really, really enjoying it. Granted, teams have been so lopsided, it's, it's hard to give a true feeling about the tank. But what I've noticed, especially in brawling, and I talked about this about the T-54, the T-44 tanks, um, kind of my favorite go-to play style is you can 1v1 get up in their face and they have an extremely difficult time penning this rounded uh, turret armor and the sloped armor on the front. Uh, so it is a fun tank to brawl 1v1 against somebody. Um, the accuracy is surprisingly good on this tank. 2200 damage per minute. Uh, 280 average damage per shot and eight degrees of gun depression plays well um, you know don't often see high gun depressions on the soviet tanks um, so this one has a little bit of everything for me 52 kilometers per hour i feel like it takes a little bit of time to get up to top speed once you're at top speed the tank really gets around so uh, i've enjoyed playing this was hoping to put out a uh a video on it but uh, with the update I lost all my replays so um, I'll have to replay some games and, and get that out there um, and then I'll, I'll touch on it since we're here I know I touched on it quite a lot the lucky containers are guaranteed um, to pull a tank so for ten dollars you are guaranteed a tier 5 tank it's a little bit high if you think that's six thousand gold um, however if you're like me um, and, and you open this and, and you have the majority of these tanks and there's a high probability you're going to draw one of these tanks you already have, you will get a tier six lucky container. Open that and then um, 
you know, if you have a lot of these, so forth, it can continues all the way up to tier nine and 10. I did do a video on this so you can see what's in those tier nine and tier tens. And if you pull a tier 10 that you already have, you're gonna get 7,500 gold, which for $10 is a little bit better than the 600 that you're gonna get roughly in the store. Um, smashing platoon, I'm not gonna have any tanks to talk about when I get down to the tank section, having done them all here. Um, was in the store last week, only four days left on this one. The M4 Yo here is uh, a little bit on the unique side. It's got the emergency track, so if you get shot in the track, you can still reverse just at a little bit of a slower speed. Um, but it is a four sh shell auto loader. Um, but what's different is you don't get any burst damage out of this tank. So it's seven seconds between shells as opposed to what you might see one to two and a half seconds. Um, so it does have that little bit longer of a reload between shells. And then it's only 15, 14 seconds here for the entire magazine to reload. So it feels a little bit different from a tank that you know you can blast through those shells and then you've got a long reload or what feels like a long reload. Um, so that makes it a little bit different. Um, eight degrees of gun depression, 40 kilometers per hour's top speed. Uh, I can't really talk much in favor of the armor on this. Um, there seems to be enough weak spots here. People can pan it fairly easily. Um, but Chimera falls into that category of tank that I think is a must own. Um, it's got that, those medium characteristics of the mobility. Um, it's 1881 damage per minute. 440 is your average damage, which means you don't have to be on target as frequently as a tank that's doing 240, 260, somewhere in there, um, because you can use that longer reload to stay hidden. Um, but you don't suffer too, too much in a damage per minute. 1v1 battle, 10 degrees of gun depression, and 50 kilometers per hour is top speed. Makes this quite an effective tank, which does tend to also ricochet a few shots off of this highly sloped armor as well for a medium tank. Um, and I believe that those are both for sale individually uh, a little bit further down. Uh, AMX 30 prototype, um, tier nine. And this is quite a lot here. So this is gonna be over 14,000 for this tank, which, uh, you know, for a tier nine is high. Yeah, you're gonna get the 30 gold boosters and some crates to open. Um, but the tank itself plays really nice. You've got that French gun. Uh, it's good accuracy, good mobility. Um, play this thing hold down with its 10 degrees of gun depression, 310 average damage, 2600 damage per minute. So you can see that's a nice damage per minute number on this tank um, and the mobility, how it drives is, is really nice. But I think this is kind of expensive for, for what you're getting. Uh, STV for 7,500, the price has finally come down to a reasonable price on this tank. But I do wanna warn everybody, the difficulty in playing this tank. Rear mounted turret uh, makes playing in hills difficult when you combine it with that five degrees of gun depression. It does hit really hard at 400 average damage per shot, but you're looking at that 1744 damage per minute, which is behind lower than the Chimera. Um, so when you throw in the fact that this thing is just kind of really difficult, um, to play in the hills where most of the battles are played. Um, but as you can see from this profile, uh, it can you can work the armor profile very, very well once you get used to it. So just keep that in mind as well. But a difficult tank to play, um, probably only for serious, serious collectors. All right, so now we're getting into kind of the new section here. Um, where they've got some guaranteed containers that we just talked about before, and you can buy them with whatever these things are here. Um, yeah, it doesn't even tell me what they are there. But what I wanted to point out here, um, so there's gonna be some bundles that you can buy down here that are gonna get you some of these tokens, right? 
Um, none of them are, are really great deals, okay? But what I wanted to point out here is this gold subscription. Typically in the past, gold subscriptions, you have worked out to be about a thousand gold per dollar. Not the case here. All right, so for $12, you're only going to get uh, $37.50 gold. So that is certainly not a great deal. That's only 312 gold per dollar. Yes, you're going to get the, the containers as well. But if you can come into the game every day and basically you have to claim this, you are going to get 30 of these tokens, right? So then... Now that's gone that I clicked on it, but it'll come back. 30 tokens here is going to guarantee you a tier six tank. So throw that into the mix that you're guaranteed a tier six tank. Now, I showed you all of those containers uh, six through eight, and I have probably 98 percent of those tanks. So that and I have all of the tier nine and tier tens. So for me, um, I'm going to get another seven thousand five hundred gold on top of that um, from purchasing this certificate with those tokens. So for me, that's going to be over a, a thousand, roughly at a thousand gold per dollar. So I will do that after this um, and make sure I can log in for the next five days to, to claim those. All right, moving on. Let's see what else we can talk about that is worthwhile. Um, I skip over these resources. They're just not great deals. If you want to buy gold, um, do it in the gold section down here. All right, so we've talked about all of these tanks. If there's any that we miss, yep. So the T4485 and the Amex 1357 are both 5,000 gold each. You may be kind of intrigued here on the Amex 13, 1357, and I, and I wouldn't blame you for, for buying that. It is for, certainly a unique tank. Chimera 8,500. All right, so that was a little bit more um than i was expecting especially for the yo not worth on the yo chimera you know i can't fault anyone for for buying the tank for 8500 you know it has been in events and and other areas where it has been cheaper than that um but you may have missed out on it at that time so guys that's going to wrap up the store review and um you know so just make sure when you're buying the gold you're getting 2x gold so 3500 for 53 dollars here um that's kind of my only ward oh yeah i guess i'm while we're here um some of you may be getting close to getting enough of these coupons here um for playing in platoons with your clan mates and, and getting them at the end of each week um I can't really talk to the bat chat here. I don't have this tank, one of those tanks that I don't have. Um, but I would imagine it is very similar to all the other bat chats. Uh, you've got good top speed mobility. You've got that light tank armor. Uh, I mean, um, the light tank mechanic uh, for, for spotting. Um, so you don't get spotted while you're moving. Um, you've got the 50 TP prototype here, which is a really solid tier nine heavy tank. Um, it's got some really strong armor to it and um, you know it, it's just an all-around solid tank and I, and I wouldn't fault anyone for choosing this one um, the the Ritter here uh, what I do want to point out is its damage per minute number 3443 um, this tank has the accuracy it has a fast reload of eight seconds doing 460 damage uh this is a fun tank I, I know a lot of you might not enjoy you know playing tank destroyers with no armor um but when you throw in that damage per minute number um that is is a, it's a solid tank and i would say for me that would be my first choice out of these then followed by the 50 tp probably the bat chat and then the amx if i had them but i haven't been playing too much in platoons um so i don't have those so that's it guys um again if you aren't already please hit that subscribe button like and share all that fun stuff um we're trying to come back from a five month hiatus and uh get the site going again so have fun out there enjoy the long memorial day weekend and uh, of course have fun get educated not fingered little finger out